Number 33. An unwary football player collides with a padded goalpost while running at a velocity of 7.5 meters per second and comes to a full stop after compressing the padding and his body by 0.35 meters. What is his deceleration? All right. So let's draw this unweary football player. And look at that. Not too bad. Oh, well, I could make it a little better. There we go. Big biceps. Okay. So now he's traveling right at a certain velocity, it says. Okay. So let's draw this little arrow. And initially it says that he's moving at a velocity of 7.50 meters per second. And eventually he's going to come in contact, right, with this um, padding, okay, that's essentially going to be compressed. So basically he's going to hit the padding about here, okay, but then the padding essentially will be compressed between him and his body. So therefore I'm just going to enlarge in the picture here. And now here's the padding, okay. So the, um, the distance then that he traveled here will be a 0.35 meters. So let me just change the color slightly. So the distance here or the displacement, right, is going to be x is equal to 0 0.350 meters. Okay, great. And um, it tells us right finally he comes to a stop. So that's another piece. So at the end, this is the final. It's zero meters per second. But now what we have to do is we have to uh, calculate his deceleration or in other words, we have to calculate his acceleration, right? And it should work out to be negative. So let's see. Think of a formula. Let's see if we can find a formula that relates these four variables on the screen. And it looks like the fourth equation will uh, be that particular formula. So let's write it down. So the final velocity squared is equal to the initial velocity squared plus 2 multiplied by the acceleration and then multiplied by the displacement. So the final velocity is 0. That's easy. Initial velocity is 7.5. 0, and that's squared. 2 times now my acceleration, was, which is what I'm trying to find. And my displacement here is going to be 0 0.350 meters. Okay, I have consistency in all the units over here, so I don't need to do any conversions or anything like that. And I know my acceleration unit should be then in meters per second squared. Okay, I'm just not putting them in to make it, you know, cleaner. So we have 0 is equal to now. So take out the calculator, 7.5 squared comes out to about 56.25, but we need three uh, significant figures. So it's going to be 56.3 plus then two times 0.35, right? So that should be 0.700A. Okay, subtract this on over to the other side. 0.700A minus 0 0.0, oh, excuse me, 0.700A cancels on that side. So now we have negative 0.700A is equal to 56.3. Great, now divide this out. Negative 0 0.700. So now my A value should be 56.3 divided by 0.7. So that works out to be approximately negative 80.4. Okay, 80.4 meters per second squared. All right. So remember three significant figures because I divided two numbers that each had three significant figures. So that's part A. Let's take a look at part B. So now it says, how long does the collision last? So now I'm looking for time, right? So um, we can use a whole bunch of formulas to figure this out, but what I'm gonna focus on is find a formula that, that relates the initial velocity, the displacement, the time, and the final velocity. The reason why I'm not gonna use my acceleration in this calculation, or try not to if I can, is because maybe I made a mistake here. I don't want the mistake to now propagate into my time calculation. Because like I said, like I have said plenty of times before, now we're gonna be doubly wrong, all right? So it looks like if I look over to the right-hand side, it looks like the last equation uh, would, be, would work really well. So let's write it out. Change in, change in displacement is equal to one half of the initial velocity plus the final velocity multiplied by time. The displacement of the problem is 0 0.350, and it's then 1 half. The initial velocity was 7.50, the final was 0, and now I just got to solve for time. Okay, so this is 0 0.350. So 1 half of 750, just take it out and plug it into the calculator. So 3.75. Again, I need two, uh, three significant figures there, multiplied by t. Now just divide out the 3.75. 
and the t now will be so 0.35 divided by 3.75. So it looks like it works out to be about, what is this? So we need three significant figures, so 0 0.0933 seconds. Okay, great. So it comes out to about a tenth of a second. All right, sounds reasonable. I think everything looks good. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Remember, if it did, please subscribe. Until next time.